Now looky here. I don't have, uh, good impersonations, I, I know, but I tried, and I should get an, uh, an A for effort, even though it doesn't start with an A. Um, so, um, kind of something interesting going on. I don't have a camera set up inside here to be able to, uh, you know, show the back of my head or whatever. I don't have a camera set up inside anymore. Uh, so all you're going to get is the web page. But uh, I want to start out with a little quick short message to Pastor Dow. You're right about one thing. You are right about one thing. The king is coming. The king is pissed. The king is in the process of separating the wheats and the tares. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, for those that don't know, apparently, uh, Straightway Goshen had an incident this morning. And I, I normally wouldn't, you know, that's, that's on them. Why I feel it's important to blow my trumpet is because he is bringing down all Hebrews with his rhetoric and nonsense and something needs to be said whether it be the several videos that he came out today with lying my opinion lying through his teeth I think it's pretty evident after I get done showing you the article and you go watch Pastor Dahl's videos today You'll see. But it's also the failure to properly lead. Uh, Seth, as I'm, I'm not going to go down that road. Let's stick to the article. So Bryson Muir found safe and well parents in custody after Logan Sport raid. Hmm. So... I guess this guy is like a football player. I don't know or was a football player. Let's go on and read the article. This happened in Logan Sport, Indiana. 14-year-old son of a former Indianapolis Colts player has been found more than two weeks after his reported disappearance. Bryson Muir's parents are in custody and several other people were detained on Wednesday in Cass County as Indiana State Police served arrest and search warrants. The teen appeared, quote-unquote, safe and well. According to Indiana State Police, he was released into the custody of the Cass County Department of Child Services. His father, Daniel Muir, faces preliminary charges of domestic battery, a Class A misdemeanor, and obstruction of justice, a Level 6 felony, while his mother, Kristen Muir, faces preliminary charge of obstruction of justice, a level 6 felony, ISP said. That would be the two there. Arrest warrants have been issued for both parents. Police took them to the Cass County Jail. A judge said no bond will be issued for the Muirs on Wednesday afternoon, citing them as flight risks. Now, you will hear Mr. Dowell say multiple times on video today um, that that is not true that I guess that he is not in custody, I guess. <clears throat> Goes on to say this happened after Indiana State Police descended on a compound in Logansport located at 1740 West U.S. Highway 24. I'm telling you, folks that, uh, eh, you know, things like Waco and all of that stuff, I'm not so sure that this whole compound Thing, it's such a good idea, you know. <laughs> Three SWAT teams, detectives, canine units, and a bomb squad were prepared to search multiple buildings at the property owned by the Servant Leaders Foundation, a non-profit religious group. The operation began around 6 a.m., ISP said. With anything of this nature, we have to be well prepared to go into the unknown, said Sergeant Stephen Glass with ISP. Ultimately, everything went well and everybody is safe, including Bryson. 
Glass described the operation as peaceful, saying police immediately came into contact with Mears when they executed the warrants. Officers from the Logan Sport Police Department and Indiana, uh, Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department were also at the scene. The Cass County Sheriff's Office provided additional resources. Video showed multiple police cars at the location along with an armored vehicle from IMPD. Daniel and Kristen Muir were due in court Tuesday but didn't show up, according to ISP, to prepare Wednesday's operation. Leading, I'm sorry, leading ISP to prepare Wednesday's operation. I don't think I said it right originally. So go into the background just a little bit. Before Wednesday's developments, Bryson Muir had last been seen on June 16th. His grandmother, Cheryl Wright, said the teen may have been abused by his father, a former Indianapolis Colts defensive lineman. So now this isn't like even an ex-girlfriend or an ex-wife kind of thing or anything like that. This is a, a grandmother. Wright tipped off police about possible abuse after finding her grandson with a black eye. He was last seen in Cleveland, Ohio, leaving with his mother, Kristen Muir, in a white 2015 Chevrolet Suburban. Wright told Fox 59, or CBS 4, this week that she contacted police and took a picture of her grandson's injury. His face was battered. When I got him, he had a black eye and busted lip, Wright said. His whole face was swollen. I can only imagine how many times he had been hit in the face for it to be like that. Bryson Muir told her that his father was responsible for the injuries. He didn't reveal what led up to it. According to court documents, Daniel Muir allegedly admitted to beating his son in a secretly recorded phone call. Hmm. And he said, and I quote, I whooped his ass like a grown-ass man. He reportedly said in the recording. I would imagine that uh, law enforcement has a copy of said recording. This is a young man here uh, with his injury on the right. Wright believes her grandson has been brainwashed by his parents and the religious group they belong to. Police quickly found Bryson Muir's mother and the suburban, but the 14-year-old wasn't inside the vehicle. Investigators believe he had may have been switched into another vehicle. And it says ongoing dispute, silver, silver alert. For several days, investigators couldn't get in contact with Bryson Muir's parents despite going to the family's home in Logansport m multiple times. So this wasn't like the only time they showed up. On June 27, there seemed to be a shift in the case with Indiana State Police saying the Muirs were beginning to cooperate. Court documents reveal that the Muirs met with investigators at the Cass County DCS office on June 27, but their son wasn't with them. The Muirs did show police a video of Bryson that showed him standing in an undisclosed, undisclosed location, possibly in a wooded area. In the video, Bryson reportedly said, My father did not punch me in the eye. Hmm. You see all these things that are leading up? I mean, come on. Investigators spoke with both Daniel and Kristen, but said their stories were not consistent. It was not long after the, uh, that optimism of cooperation quickly dissipated. On July 28, Daniel and Christian Muir, through their lawyer, agreed to meet with police at the Peru Post and bring along their son. An hour before the scheduled meeting, however, ISP said they backed out and refused to hand over Bryson. The development led police to issue a statewide silver alert. The alert, said Bryson, was last seen around 7.53 a.m. on June 16 and indicated he could be in extreme danger and may require medical assistance. Hmm. Silver alert, obviously, has since been canceled. So more, uh, more on this. That signs at the secluded Logan Sport property make no mention of the Servant Leaders Foundation, which records show as the registered owner of the property, Multiple signs say, Welcome to Straightway, Indiana Goshen, along with a crest. Other signs warn against trespassing and uh, state that the location is private property. 
An internet search leads to Straightway Ministries, a Tennessee-based religious group that describes itself as a nation of Hebrew Israelites who are, who are commandment keepers, obedient to Yah, and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. And again, I'm, I have to openly rebuke Mr. Dahl. Folks, this is what being Hebrew is about. The way that barren dependent is not what Hebrew is about. Hebrew is not. If somebody is bold and they've got their chest stuck out and they're talking with ego and pride, they are not Hebrew. I, that you, can, you can guarantee that. Another thing, if, if they're always showing off the things, right? For one, a true Hebrew won't even have all the things kind of goes against one of the very important parts about what it is to be Hebrew. But, you know, it goes on to say, um, <clears throat> the group's official YouTube page features a video from four years ago that shows a man appearing to be Daniel Muir preaching to a crowd. Some have described the group as a cult, because it is, Bryson Muir's grandmother feared her grandson was being brainwashed and couldn't bring himself to leave his parents. Bryson is so conditioned or brainwashed to their way of living that he wanted to go back, Wright said earlier this week. As I tried to get my daughter to leave, he ran out of the house and left with them. And this is, uh, is going to talk a little bit about uh, the response. Uh, Victor Vining, a defense attorney representing Daniel and Christian Muir, spoke with the reporters after the parents went before a judge on Wednesday afternoon. The Muir family, they've been improperly targeted and they're not guilty of any abuse or illegal activity. They're entitled to their day in court and due process, Vining said. Well, I'm telling you, the way they handled that looks awful damn guilty to me. During the hearing, a judge denied bond for either Daniel or Christian Muir, citing them each as flight risks. The parents were also each ordered to have no contact with their son. The Muir's next court date is set. Uh, date is July 16. Uh, Pastor Charles Dow, who leads Straightway Truth, posted several videos in the wake of the raid on YouTube. In one of the videos, Dow said not to trust news reports or police reports about the allegations involving the Muir family. If he had a damn brain in his head, he would have stayed out of it as much as he could have. Because I'm telling you, the way they handled this, guilty as sin. This is uh, a quote from Mr. Dow. You better believe that Straightway is not going to be taking any of this lying down. Unquote. Quote, we coming. You better believe we coming. Unquote. Dumb on top of dumb on top of dumb. Article finishes up saying Sports Illustrated previously detailed straightway truth and Pastor Dow in an extensive report in which many people accuse a religious group of being a cult amongst other troubling allegations. Look at here. Look, it's it's <laughs> You know the father Father's going to clean up the mess that is on this earth. And I believe that's what we're starting to see. And it's my personal belief that he's going to start with the false leaders. Amen? If your heart's not right, and I'm just speaking as honestly as I can, if your heart's not right, get it right. Because I don't think we got a whole much longer amount of time to be able to get it right. 
And if you're out there claiming to be some type of spiritual leader of any shape or form, you better make that double on yourself. Because the Father, He's going to come after you tenfold. I am blessed that He schwacked me before these times. Thank you, Father, for setting me straight before now. Ah, take with it what you will. Do I trust the, the media? No. Do I trust the government, especially organizations related, uh, you know, related to child services? Absolutely not. Do I believe the claims that are being made in this report? Yep. They wouldn't have talked about having an, uh, a recording, a phone recording, of him making that statement. According to court documents, court documents, this isn't just hearsay. He allegedly admitted to beating his son in a secretly recorded phone call. Not just admitted it, but said he whooped his ass like a grown-ass man. Please. Folks, do not let this represent Hebrews. We all don't live on compounds. We all don't. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Sickening. It is truly sickening. Shalom.